In the meantime, though, your Tuesday looking beautiful. 60 degrees by noon, 65 at the day's end as uh, we could see some of those clouds mixed in, but nothing to take away from the day. And notice your sunset there at 9 o'clock, the first one in the 9 o'clock hour today. Overnight tonight, mostly cloudy. We're going to continue to gain on that cloud cover. A shower possible as temperatures dip back into the 40s, but I really think we're going to see more of that cloud cover and showers by the time we tap into early tomorrow morning. This is our next system bringing overall lighter rain. This will be scattered through the day as we continue into the afternoon and evening time frame eventually drying out later Wednesday night. And if you do have some of that dry time, definitely will hold on to that cloud cover. We'll stay dry on Thursday, kind of flip a switch and start to warm up again, leading into what will be our next system to come for Friday. So expect rain Wednesday, sunshine Thursday, We'll eventually get to showers and storms on Friday. So kind of this uh, on and off again pattern here for the rest of the week. This rainfall on Wednesday, though, really light stuff. We're talking a tenth to a quarter, maybe even a half an inch of rainfall. So not a whole lot available. Definitely not a good soaking rain, a very light scattered rain uh, that we will have for tomorrow before we take a break and then get to Friday. So Friday morning, I think a lot of the showers will stay north, that we should stay dry, a little bit cloudy. I think we still have some peaks of sunshine there to kick off the day, which will then give us some fuel for the fire for our atmosphere here. We do have a system coming through that'll bring a cold front later on uh, through the afternoon and evening. The timing on this is not exact. We're still several days out, but we are in the chance for severe storms. So it's something that we're watching closely as it's this line Friday after Friday evening that could bring in some of those stronger storms. So if you do have plans in the second half of the day on Friday, you want to continue to uh, check back with us for any updates for that potential for severe storms. 59. Is a daytime high tomorrow, even a little bit cooler, but then we start to warm up on Thursday. We'll get that warm, moist atmosphere going. We'll be in the 80s on Friday, and then we have that chance for those severe storms. So already a couple days out, the Storm Prediction Center putting us in a 15% chance for some of those stronger storms. The next couple of days, we'll start to pinpoint down some timing, some strength, and get some more details on this. So if you do have plans, second half of Friday, you want to stay up to date with us. Some showers can linger into early Saturday. We're cooler, though, behind this system in the 50s and 60s for the end of the weekend and next week.